Hello everybody, welcome back to our single player world. In today's episode, we are returning back to the ship. I've done some very, very small changes on here, which shouldn't be too hard for you to catch up on, and they are, they're pretty simple. We've put in these platforms over here, those are the main things, and I've maybe changed one or two other things, but really, overall, the ship's looking good. I'm really, really glad to hear that everybody has enjoyed how the ship has turned out, and at least uh, found the last video quite interesting and good feedback, I guess, about the uh, the time lapses that we are going to be doing uh, more often. If we're doing a larger build, we're definitely going to be doing a lot more time lapsey sorts of things. But what I want to do today is I want to get into the ship again, but this time I want to add a lot of detail. I want to start adding in some of the the stuff once you've well, let's say put it this way, right? Last episode we went into all of the bulk building. We went into the the big meaty stuff that really doesn't necessarily uh, mean that you've, you've really got the whole ship looking good. You've just got the general shape right, and we, we need to be going into smaller blocks, I guess that's the point. And that is why we've got a bunch of these. We've got a bunch of slabs, which we're going to be using just to make these sorts of pieces here a little bit smoother, but that's not going to happen on camera. We're just going to do that off camera, and I'll, I'll show you what's going on. So just little things like that, for instance, and then like that, and maybe something like there, just to just to do something like that. You can tell it's already it's already a little bit more smooth. Uh, but that, I don't even know if that's what we're going to be doing. The, the trouble with this is now I've got to go from each side to do it. But that's, that's not a big deal. What I want to do before we do that is I want to get some, some stuff moving that's going to look very, very good very, very quickly. And that is these, well, that they are, these ropes around here that I'm going to be popping on. Let me just do this. And I can't actually remember. There was a good way of doing it. I found a, last time I did this in, in our last ship, we found a very good way to arc these things. Uh, but I do recall having them along this side here like that. We'll probably do one, two, three. Am I stuck in that? There we go. Perfect. Wonderful. So yeah, hopefully hopefully you guys gain something at least, I guess, for building a larger project. And it's also really, really cool to see a lot of people interested in doing their own sorts of large projects like this. Because, I mean, the scale is massive. That is true. The scale is really, really large. But uh, in the end, the uh, the reward is so good. when you When you can see one of these things in your... In your own world, you can tell all the all the work that's gone into it. It's really, really awesome, and that's I guess the whole the whole reason with this. So you know, make this whole world so much prettier than it. Uh, it really feels good to just walk around in. I think something like what I'm doing here is going to be the right way. I think we just might have been a bit too far out over there, but we'll find out soon enough. And in fact, actually, I think what I'll do to connect these up properly is I might do something over here like this. Maybe just one out. Nah, let's go two out. And then we can do that there to connect these two up like that. So we can go there, there, and again. Wonderful. Okay, let's go check this out from this side here. Okay, cool. I think what I have to do is I really should be putting in this one here and this one here as well, which we'll, we'll do right now away from the camera. But besides this, we've also got a lot of other little things which we're going to be doing to the boat just to make it, as I say, that whole, that whole bunch prettier than what we had before when we have the very bulky, I don't know what you'd call it, but a very bulky looking thing. And I'm actually going to tilt my bed the other way so I get to watch the boat while I sleep. There we go. That, that's going to be good. Now we get to watch the boat while we sleep. So you can see there that that's already creating some really good structure to this part of the boat, which was very empty. And of course, once we got the sails there, but the next thing that I was talking about was getting a trim on the outside of the boat, which if you remember the last boat, we have a very nice looking trim. The back piece, however, I also think I might have to overhaul at some stage, but we'll go with it as it is right now. Uh, but I want to make it look a little bit prettier than what it is as well. Ooh. No creepers around there. All right, so I'll put the rest of these in and I'll be right back and we can carry on with a few other things on the boat. So there it is. That's the shape you can see there. I'm just kind of standing at the back here so you get both perspectives of it. And also, by the way, I wanted to do the trim now, but I think what I, what we can do is maybe go for the sails. I think that might be a bit of fun and uh, I haven't gone far enough. Right around there. Perfect. Perfect. It's these little things now that are, are going to make the big differences to the ship. And obviously, I, I don't know if it's just the sheer enormity of these sorts of builds or whether or not it's it's actually that they... They do look kind of cool when they just a, a large thing like this, but really I feel like in general uh, the ship was looking pretty pretty all right to begin with, which was kind of weird. Uh, let's just go here, but now now these are all just the all just the finishing touches, many many finishing touches in fact. 
In fact, the trim probably will be the, the largest one. And, and I haven't actually mentioned, we also have done that little thing that I was talking about in the beginning of just making it a bit more, what is it, chiseled, chiseled down. And this is going to be a big challenge as well, not to even mention that. We've got, we've got to get these sails to look like they've been rolled up. However, what's going to probably be the, the, the tough part about this is making sure it's not too small and insignificant looking. But it's also not too large and overpowering. So let's let's give us a try now. I've got some kind of idea of what I'm thinking at least. Uh, in fact, these ones down here that I'm busy doing right now aren't even the ones that... Like, I don't even think there should be a sail here. I think the sail that I'm picturing over here goes between this part over here. I'm, I'm not even aware of what that's called. Uh, the crossbeam of the, the mast to that there. And I would imagine it would get pulled up to the top and then dropped down. So let's try that out. Over here, we do, do one of these here. In fact, one of these here. And what I'm thinking to make it look rolled up is that we'll have it hanging down just a, a slight bit out the front. And that could, could prove to look like a proper hanging rolled up sail. So we do that there. And maybe something over here like this. Go out a little bit. And can I go one more down? I don't think I can make this. We'll just try this here. Because it'll be perfect for us to go have a look now when the when the sun's down. Something like that. And really should be using things to break a bit easier. Wonderful. Come on. One more. There you go. That's all right. That's cool. So let's have a look at this shape. And it's kind of weird because a lot of these shapes seem a bit weird from where we are. Oh, we would do the one spot that you can't see. We've got all of these, all of these sails. And we've got the one sail you can't see. Yeah, I feel like that's a little bit too far of a drop down from this side. But let's go have a look at it from the side and also the front. So let's go around here and in the water, of course. That's all right for me over there. Because picture that all the way across. We'll have two of them there. And then we've also got this one over here. And I can still use... I'm not too sure if I will, but I can still use a few quartz slabs which might be able to work for this but i think they might be a bit too much as well yeah definitely need to get rid of that bottom layer over there those ones have to go and once we've got this going over here we can pull this up here drape it a little bit down over there put the other side in that's going to work very very well i think so i'm going to get going on that because of course that's just the next stage here they are guys, I've gone ahead and I've completed these two. I'll try to get some on the back actually. Let me go out a little bit further from where we are right now. I try to get some on the back and front where we actually had some other sails, which I will be showing you very, very soon because I know a lot of people might not actually be familiar with the old ship, but I, I, think, it's, uh, I think this one's a bit different in this respect. So around here, you can see there's the one sail. We'll have a look up close. There's the other two that we've added. And I tried my hardest to get these sails over here to look folded up. The only way I think we could get this to work is to actually make it that those sails have not been folded up and tied up. And same as with the back one, which we'll go around here and check it out right around there. So if we had the back one over here, that could also look kind of cool. But sadly, it's just not working for us. And of course, you can't forget about the, the flags. Can I make that? Almost. I'll get those. Easy. Perfect. So that's what we've currently got. Now, we've got a lot of other things to do. As I say, the trim is the most important thing, I think, to make that boat look a bit more interesting. And also, there's a few little things that I want to add in. We want to add in a flag to the back of the ship. And we also want to add in the items that are getting taken off the ship, which shouldn't be too too crazy. I'm still not decided on what's what's going to be coming off or going onto the ship, for that matter. I'm not too sure. I feel like that should be, be stuff that's being imported. So I'm going to quickly go away from here. I want to show you guys something really, really fast. One thing I tend to do is quite a bit of terraforming and we haven't done a bit in quite some time. Uh, here we go. Let's just, before we go any further about the, the terraforming bit, this is the ship. Let me just stop around here. Bam. That's what we have got previously, which I think is quite cool. You can see certain similarities. The one that we've got in the city actually only has one of these ones at the back because we didn't have enough space because this is obviously a lot longer. That's one little thing which, sadly, we, we don't have that luxury. Also, these were the sails that I was speaking about there, which I think don't look too good when they're rolled up. But as soon as they look out like that and that one there as well, that looks really, really cool. But that's pretty much just all I wanted to show you on the ship. 
Uh, what I was saying about the terraforming is I, I've been known to do a fair bit of terraforming. And we've currently, on Twitch, of course, by the way, if you guys have not been able to keep up with us on Twitch, or if you guys aren't even aware that we did a lot of stuff in this world on Twitch, uh, where we live stream it, uh, there are links in the description. I'd love to see you guys around there. And we've got a few projects that we do across the well, days on Twitch. And we've got a few that are terraforming again, which is this area over here. And this, this is a little beach, a little rocky stone cold beach. I didn't really know what to call it. I'm still in a few, in a few minds as to what it should be called, but it's a, it's a really interesting little combination of blocks. I've got obviously the diorites and stuff in there, which I mean, you know what? A lot of people give diorite a bit too much, uh, much slack. It's actually a pretty, a pretty cool block when you want to transition between, for instance, cobblestone and stone and a bit of a bit of snow. I think that looks pretty good. And you can see just what we've got up to. We've just made a few rocky bits, a bit of ice, and it definitely gives you that cold feel. And it also just, it feels like a, a kind of beach that you'd find up near a cold area like this. So let's just go take a step back. And then also I've been working on a cliff face over here. So that's the most recent large project we've completed on Twitch. And it wasn't even that big of a project actually, to be honest, it took us about a stream, I think, or so. Uh, but what we're gonna get up to now is we're gonna get up to the next city or next village, not city, my apologies, uh, along the way here. And this was where we were actually last episode by the inn, you can see there's the inn. And as this path will continue to the main city over here, I want to have a little path clip off to this direction and we have got ourselves a brand new village that we started just recently. Actually, that rabbit reminds me of things I need to, I need to do, but we'll, we'll get to that in uh, a few episodes time because it's going to be a bit of a pain if we do do the rabbit thing. Uh, but here we go. This is what we're working on. It's a, a village that's going to be producing a lot of wheat, a lot of potatoes, maybe, maybe only one thing. I don't know, but it's going to be a farming village over here. I've got a little bit of a waterfall going on in here and we started planning this out in our most recent stream. So if you guys want to join us for an entire village build in stream, uh, obviously there's the link in the description and keep an eye out for when we are live so you guys can follow us. But right around here, this is my plan at least, we're going to be having a lot of these crops here, pl paths planned out and the whole village is going to be built into this mountain and there will be a mountain. That's the plan for the mountain, and it's going to conti continue on all the way over here until it eventually meets up with this large one here and this entire snowy mountain range around this area, which is a really, really exciting thing, actually, because we're slowly but surely tying this whole big area in and having pretty much the whole area terraformed. In fact, it's a very large area. We've got to do all this in the middle, but it's, it's definitely getting closer and closer by the day or by the stream. Obviously, we got a few more trees and stuff to finish off. But that is all for this area here. I think we may as well go back to the ship. And so the trim is done. We've done only the one side, actually, but that's the kind of shape that we're going for. Look at that. Makes such a great difference to the ship in general. And not only that, it's also just creating that extra little bit of depth. Let me let me just go around here again for an extra turn. Look at that. So it's it's just sending it a nice little bit of a... A direction will send your eyes in a nice bit of a direction over there and then also as I say this depth in here which we went past a bit too quick uh, eventually we will have the windows peering out of there but that also just adds so much more into the ship and I think it looks really really awesome so before I go any further this part at the back here is a little bit of a trouble and I don't like the look of it I think it's a bit silly the way I've done it that it's all kind of a bulgy ball at the back here. Just, it doesn't look very good compared to the other one. I mean, if you remember what I just showed you a few minutes ago, the other one's got this really nice square piece and then it drops down, curves in. And I really, really like that. And I wish I had thought about that a bit more before I had committed to this in this ship. So we definitely gonna have to do, at, well, it really could warrant an entire large piece of an episode or really an episode itself. In making this area look really really good so we'll we'll eventually touch this do not worry about it i think it's actually all right the way it is currently it's not going to be destroying our game but i definitely do want to touch on that in the future so now before i go into the next stage which is adding stuff onto the ship we're going to go and do something a bit more interesting which i didn't think about until about a, a few days ago and that is adding in these banners which are flags 
to the back of the ship over here, which I've, I've noticed on ships, they've always got like something hanging off the, the back, a flag of some sort. I'm not too sure what it was. And I asked a person in our stream and a patron of us, ours, who also is uh, extra special because it's also the name of our previous ship. So there's just so many things about the sea. And that is Wurzel, the patron, the guy who's given us the inspiration to do this over here. Let me just, let me just get there. This over here. And it has been named the, well, named our other ship, the HMS Wurz, which I don't think I've actually mentioned on our YouTube videos, but that's the name of that ship. And what Wurzel told me about these flags, because I wasn't too sure about what they were, it is, one is the, well, country or the, the port to which the ship belongs to, like the area. And uh, that is this one here. So that's obviously what this one here is for. And the other one is apparently, I'm, I'm not too sure if I remember correctly, but somewhere that perhaps it probably travels a lot or it, it trades with a lot of. So eventually, that's why I'm leaving this white one here. Eventually, we hope to put this one to a magical faraway city that this one could have come from. And we'll, we'll think about that. We'll think about what we add onto that. But these are some pretty cool little details, which I thought were really, really awesome. And they just add on to the whole, the whole ship itself, you know, we've got the, the story of the city, we've got the story of the, well, where it's going to be trading, and also now we've got what it's being taken, what is being taken off the ship over there. And can I sleep? It's going to be so close. But we, we can still look at that beautiful sky. And as I was saying, the, we've, we've worked out what we wanted to be taking off the ship. And this city, as much as it's a very wealthy, developed city, I'm thinking that we're going to have a an interesting build, and I've thought about this build for quite some time, and we've spoken about it quite a bit, but I don't think I've spoken about it in a video. And that is, we are going to be building in the future a house in the process, or building in the process of being built. By the way, that's as far as I got. I, I need to copy that other side over there, but it's just, it's one of those things where you're just trying to, trying to relax for a bit. You've done so much stuff from one side to the other. I'll, I'll add a little bit in there. In, uh, in the very, very near future. Uh, so yeah, what I was saying is I want to make a house or a building that's being built, which is an interesting thing when you think about it, because we're going to have a bunch of, well, supplies that have to be around, which is quite cool to make a story of. Do I have those there? Wonderful. And I think that's going to be really, really cool. Just making a story out of, out of the story itself. So building buildings and building a building being built. <laughs> which is a bit, quite a bit to say, but I think that will be a really, really interesting one. And I'm looking forward to that. And that is why I've thought it would be pretty cool because obviously there's stuff being built in the city to put some logs, which the city uses and doesn't actually have near it uh, on the ship that the, this was cargo from the ship. So we'll eventually have to make a land where this could have come from. I know it seems pretty tempting to say, well, we've got that first village, which has got the spruce biome and all the spruce trees around it. But then I think about why is this place not too happy with that place? And I think we're going to have to accept that these come from a different area. And of course, that's all part of the law. And if you guys ever want to add in some ideas, go ahead, head over to the Discord server, which does have a link in the, in the video description, by the way. And you guys can always chat with us or chat with someone about potentially the law of the, the land or really your idea of it, at least. I think it'll be really, really cool. And we do have an entire section dedicated to that as well, might I add. This is kind of just a little bit annoying that we can't get that there. What I could do, let me, let me do this here. Let me put these around this way. And that means we can put it right over the edges. Because I, I actually quite like this idea. The first time I ever saw this idea, by the way, uh, I loved it. And then I was thinking about using my world. And I'm, I'm very, very, like, edgy using these weird designs that get used so often but really this one is a, it's just such a winner you can't avoid it and that's why we're going to be using it so can i put that there there we go these ones are around the sides here i love that so let's look at that that's pretty cool uh we have to get rid of that there and then put a base to this thing as well should i use jungle wood i think jungle wood look, look, would look pretty cool planks uh oh slabs instead I just think that would look a lot nicer because we've got all these different wood types. We've got the, the spruce, we've got the oak in terms of the oak uh, color coming through on the, the stairs, not only coming through on the ladder, sorry, not only that, and also coming through on the rope over there. I think it's better off we use something a little bit different. And also, I mean, it's meant to be a pallet, so stop 
Oh, too far. Way too far. But that's all right. Look at that. In fact, I know I just said that, but hold up one second. Yeah, it's a bit too much. I was just going to say that. That might be a bit too much spruce, and it definitely is. But let's do that there, that there, that there, that there. Beautiful. And we'll do the same thing over here, which I do have to get rid of that, but that's all right. It's not going to make a big difference. You probably won't even notice it if I didn't tell you that. Yeah, that's going to work fantastically. Let's go take a, a flight off this way and have a look at it. Beautiful. Something to add on to this. It kind of looks quite interesting seeing something in the air there. And it, it definitely tells you that that's coming off the ship. You can see that the crane's over there pulling that off there. I think this is going to work. Uh, but for today, guys, I think that is probably actually a good spot to end the episode on because there's a lot of stuff which we can still do to the ship. I want to actually do the interior once I've got this back part of the ship done because we definitely will do the interior. It's a very important part and it's got so much room to jam in a ridiculous amount of details and that's the beauty of these ships. Uh, but that is it for today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and thank you very, very much and I'll see you in the next one.